This video is intended as a guide only and does not take place of proper training by qualified instructors. For a more complete understanding of the fusion process and machine operation, we encourage you to attend one of the many classes offered through McElroy University. Visit our website www.mcelroy.com forward slash fusion for a complete listing of class offerings. Hey, I'm Brandon Jackman, a project engineer with McElroy Manufacturing. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to effectively use the McElroy Mega Mac Polyhorse. The Mega Mac Polyhorse is just like the name says, Mega. It's normally used on job sites where large diameter pipe is fused because it safely handles pipe from 20 inches all the way up to 48 inches in diameter. Using a Mega Mac Polyhorse on your job site offers several advantages that will lead to time and manpower savings, along with reduced reliance on heavy equipment. Pipe can be loaded directly from the delivery truck and heavy equipment won't be needed to load the fusion machine for the rest of the day, allowing a single fusion technician to operate autonomously. Let's fire this thing up and take a look at how it works. Before we head out to our job site, we need to talk about safety, especially pertaining to large diameter pipe. Please make sure to read the operator's manual, which covers these safety considerations and more in great detail. Most accidents involving large diameter pipe have had very little to do with the fusion equipment or even the type of pipe they were fusing. People have been seriously injured because they did not pay attention to basic safety precautions. Therefore, make certain you do the following. Make sure you stay out of the way of heavy equipment and pipe. Only use properly sized equipment to move and load the pipe. Make sure you understand and use proper lifting and moving procedures for pipe and equipment. Avoid bending the pipe or putting the pipe in a bind unless you have the proper safety equipment. The pipe stores energy and will recoil when that energy is released. Remember, while setting up and using the Mega Mac Polyhorse, do not walk inside the hazard zone, marked by the safety cones. The operator's manual covers setup and safety in detail. Also, take a look at the machine you'll be using and make sure it is in good working condition and as clean as possible. The operator's manual covers cleaning and use in detail. That being said, let's learn how to properly use this piece of McElroy equipment. Before you start moving equipment, survey your job site to find a flat area for setup. There are two ways to set up the Mega Mac Polyhorse shown on page 3-1 in your operator's manual, as setup A and setup B. Determine which setup is best for your job site. We will demonstrate setup A, as it is most commonly used on job sites. Once you have determined the desired location, place a string line on the ground, marking the desired path of your pipe. You will use this string line to center the Mega Mac Polyhorse pipe stands and fusion machine. Use overhead or forked lifting equipment to set the first pipe stand at the end of the string line. If you are using forks, they need to be 6 feet in length to reach and support both sides of the pipe stand. Remember that you can only fork the pipe stands from one side. Be mindful of the order in which you place the pipe stands. You do not want to trap the equipment operator. Refer to page 3.3 through 3.5 in your operator's manual for proper lifting and setup procedure. Place the first pipe stand, keeping the stand straight and in line with the string line. The pipe stand trolleys have two feet of lateral travel, so this placement doesn't need to be perfect. Measure from the first stand to set location of the second stand. The distance between the two pipe stands is based on the length of the pipe you are using. Divide the length of the pipe by 1.8 to get the measurement. We are using 50 foot lengths of pipe, so our distance between pipe stands should be approximately 28 feet. Front and rear pipe racks have different lifting points. For the front pipe racks, lift using the front fork pocket. For the rear pipe racks, lift using the rear fork pocket. The pipe dispensers are located on the front pipe racks. The dispensers hold the pipe on the racks. They then release the pipe one at a time onto the pipe stands. Using the handle on the front of the rack, guide the rack into the attachment point. Set the rack perpendicular to the pipe stand and insert the pin. It may be necessary to lift from the rear of the rack to insert the pins. Reposition lifting equipment to the end of the rack and lift. Place the outrigger pad under the outrigger feet and adjust the pitch. Pull pin to lower outrigger feet for course adjustment. Set the outrigger pad so both feet set completely on the pad. Never adjust the outrigger legs when the rack is holding weight. Use the hand crank to adjust the pitch of the rack between 4 and 6 degrees. 
You can view the pitch of the rack on the angle indicator, located on the side of the rack near the hand crank. If necessary for pipe to roll, you can increase the angle. Do not allow the angle to exceed 10 degrees. Doing so could cause pipe to jump over the cam stop and double feed the pipe stands. Repeat these steps for the other front rack and then for the two rear racks. We will also show using both front and rear pipe racks. However, rear racks can be left off if there is not space available on your job site. Once all four racks are in place, you will position the fusion machine. A good place to attach the end of your tape measure is the left hook under the toolbox on the roller pipe stand. As shown on page 3-4 in the operator's manual, this distance should be the length of pipe you are using minus 2 feet to ensure the pipe is supported by the roller pipe stand during fusion. Position the center of the fusion machine jaws along the center line of the pipe stands. Place the inner fixed jaw at the appropriate distance from the center of the rollers on the roller pipe stand. Once you have positioned your fusion machine, set the pipe dispenser cam to the correct position for the pipe diameter you are fusing. It is a good idea to leave the rubber plugs in the hoses until you are ready to connect them. This will help keep dirt and contamination out of the hydraulic system. Connect the extension hoses from the HPU on the tracked pipe stand to the roller pipe stand. There are eight quick disconnects to make connections easier, four male and four female, in four different sizes so they cannot be connected incorrectly. Attach the pendant cable to the control box on the tracked pipe stand and then hang the pendant on the fusion machine. Do not drag the pendant on the ground. Set the generator in place behind the fusion machine so it is out of the way and in a safe position. Plug the HPU power cord into the generator and start the generator. Now check the setup switch on the front of the control box on the tracked pipe stand for the correct setup A or B. This switch reverses the operation of the pipe stand lateral travel and track drive motors so that pushing the switch on the operator's pendant left brings pipe toward the fusion machine for either setup and similar for trolley travel. Actuate all functions on the Megamac Polyhorse to purge any air out of the system and to ensure correct operation. Now your equipment operator may begin loading pipe. Do not forget to set your safety cones to mark the hazard zone. Refer to page 310 of your operator's manual for placement. Do not walk through the hazard zone once pipe has been loaded. Load the pipe with two feet between the end of the pipe and the fusion machine. Extra precautions must be taken if dealing with bundled pipe. Consult the operator's manual for bundled pipe procedures. You're now ready to dispense pipe into the pipe stands. Use the pendant to lower both pipe stand booms to the lowest position. Step 1. Load a stick of pipe into the dispenser. To do this, hold the dispenser switch in the reload position until the dispenser arms are fully raised and the pipe is positioned against the arms. Step 2. Dispense a stick of pipe. Hold the dispenser switch in the dump position until the dispenser arms are lowered and the pipe is dispensed to the pipe stands. Step 3. The lowering arms will both raise automatically to receive the dispense pipe and lower it onto the pipe stands. Remember, as the pipe is being released and before it reaches the lowering arms, release the dump switch to allow lowering arms to lower. Use the hydraulic pipe stands to lift and align pipe with the fusion machine. Keep the pipe level when raising. If pipe is not raised evenly, it can roll off the pipe stands and damage the machine or harm someone. It may be necessary to rotate pipe so ovality is vertical. To rotate, move the pipe so it rests on the roller pipe stand and the rear lift of the fusion machine. Lower the boom of the tracked pipe stand. Keep the pipe level on the rollers and the pipe lift. Move the tracked pipe stand trolley in the direction the pipe is to be rolled. Raise the track pipe stand boom until the pipe rolls back into the V of the tracks. The pipe will rotate as it rolls back into the V. Move the trolley back to the center of the base frame and repeat the process to continue rotating the pipe until it reaches the desired position. Now that we've got our pipe rotated to the desired position, it can be loaded into the machine and prepped for the fusion process. So as I've just demonstrated, this McElroy Mega Mac Polyhorse is easy to use and will boost productivity and promote safer working conditions. It is truly a great piece of equipment on any large diameter job site. Your job site may be a little different, 
but keep in mind the important key steps for success that I've demonstrated in this video. Be sure to check out McElroy's many other videos to help with all of your fusion needs. Go to McElroy.com forward slash fusion to find charts and other reference materials that may be helpful on your job site.